Yo, this is gonna be the only video you need to start taking commissions on Roblox. If you're tired of sitting on your skills and ready to start stacking Robux and real money, this is it. I'm gonna break down the process I've taught thousands of other developers to start earning up to hundreds of thousands of Robux from commissions. If you're serious about turning your skill into Robux, this is the video I wish I had starting out. Step one, get good fast. If your work doesn't stand out yet, your commissions won't either. Pick your lane, scripting, building, modeling, GFX, UI, drawing, and go all in. Your only goal at the start is skill improvement. Take everything you make as a chance to improve. Every build, every asset, every line of code, make it better than the last. Watch tutorials, remake pro level work, copy styles, break them down. This is how you become dangerous. Step two, build your digital reputation. Now that your work's solid, it's time to show the world. You need to build a portfolio. This means making a website or a page that showcases your work. Make creations, make builds, make UI, make scripts. Whatever you do, make things that you use as examples for a portfolio. Then take your best work and package it up into a portfolio. A good website to do this is Car. It's a free website builder that lets you make your own portfolio, but there are plenty of other options. Once you have your portfolio, it's time to start posting consistently on X, Discord servers, and the Talent Hub. X is the top tier choice for getting commissions. Most professional developers congregate there, and you're gonna find that you get the highest paying commissions on there. Discord servers like Smarty Devs, which is my Discord community with over 20,000 developers. The Talent Hub is more of a last priority. Just be there, but don't focus on it too much. Make sure that you promote your portfolio everywhere you can. And remember, the more good work you have out there, the more serious you look. Also, start engaging. Reply to devs, share feedback, make your name pop up. This is called omnipresence, being everywhere, and it builds trust fast. You notice that from being able to watch my videos at any given time? Take notes. Step three, build trust and attention. Nobody hires strangers. They hire people they know and trust. First, speak confidently about yourself. Never say that you're an aspiring developer. Say, I'm a developer, own your role. Own who you are. Second, be professional. You don't need to be stiff, but when it's time to talk business, speak clear, be firm, and communicate with confidence. Third, be visible and consistent. If you keep popping up with solid work, people start remembering you. That's called branding, and a good brand will be your biggest asset in taking commissions. Step four, make it easy to hire you. Look, you could be the best dev alive, but if you're hard to contact, you're done. Keep your Discord tag in every post. Don't hide it. Put it front and center, or else you aren't going to get that many people reaching out to you for commissions because it's just too hard to DM you. Make sure DMs are open on both Twitter and Discord to everyone. Then, write a simple call to action every time you talk about hiring you for commissions. Say, want something like this? DM me at your name on Discord. And if you have pricing tiers, even better. List them out, give options, remove friction. You need to make a golden bridge for people to hand you money. You could be the best developer in the world, but if you don't build that bridge for people to come to you, you will stay broke forever. Step five, know your worth. Terms, boundaries, and assertiveness. Here's what most devs never learn. Being assertive is not rude, it's required. You must set clear prices, even if it's negotiable. Define what's included and what's not when people buy from you. Have a terms of service that you share publicly that people have to abide by 
or they won't work with you. For example, people that hire you have to pay 50% up front and 50% after, or you won't work with them. Finally, say no to low ballers, time wasters, and unclear clients. You don't need to be a jerk, just professional and firm. If someone asks for something extra that you didn't agree to do and it isn't in your terms to make it happen for them, say, that's outside the scope of this order, but I can do it for an additional name your amount. Or if someone comes and lowballs you, say, my starting rate is blank, however much Robux you charge. If you're starting a new commission, tell them, I'll need 50% up front to begin. These are the exact phrases that will make sure that you get what you deserve from every commission and that nobody can walk all over you. Step six, use free work tactically, but not forever. If you're starting from scratch, you might need to do free or discounted work, but only for people who have an audience or influence already, or to build up a portfolio fast without just doing random projects on your own. Do something small and high quality, blow them away. Then say, if you liked that, I'd love to work together again. Here's my pricing, you can pay in full to get another commission. Use this to create referrals, testimonials, and social proof, which if you've seen my recent content, you know what I'm talking about and why it's so important. But look, don't stay stuck doing free work forever. It's just a tool in your arsenal to build up a portfolio and your brand when you're just getting started. Step seven, get testimonials. After you finish a commission for someone, ask for a review. It could be a tweet, it could be a Discord message, it could be a short sentence that you screenshot. Whatever it is, post that review on your next portfolio post. Social proof builds trust faster than anything you can personally say. Step eight, market the result, not just the work. You're not just a builder. You're making games look elite. You're not just a scripter. You're making games run like efficient machines. Don't say selling builds for hire. Say helping games stand out with stunning builds. DM me if you want results. Market the transformation your work provides. That's what clients really want. All right, now you know what you need to get started taking Roblox commissions. If this video helped you, Subscribe now to get more content like this that you won't find anywhere else. But remember this, this is just one part of a bigger game. I've got videos coming out soon on how to build your brand, charge higher prices, and stack Robux from commissions, games, dev content, and beyond. So watch the video on screen now to learn five psychological hacks that'll help you to earn more Robux. And you can't go without these secrets if you're looking to take commissions. So click the video now and uncover this hidden knowledge before more devs get to it.